Hello friends, today we will see how to find x raised to the power of n. That is we are writing our own custom uh, power function. So here x can be a double like uh, 5.65. This n is integer. It can be positive integer, it can be negative integer. So let's see how to find it. So first let's take a few examples. Like we want 5.0 raised to the power 3 then this means 5.0 and it's uh, 25 multiplied by 5 that is 125.0 next let's take uh, let's say we have 2.0 and it's minus 2 then this means 2.0 raised to the power of minus 2 which is same as 1 over 2.0 square or 1 over 4 or 0 0.25 so you got the idea it can be positive or negative we don't have to use the inbuilt power function all the languages will have a power function so we are not allowed to use that so it may look like a trivial problem but there is the trap in interview uh, solving this problem will not be enough you will have to reduce the number of multiplication so just if you look at a naive way of solving it let's say we have to find x raised to the power n this simply means x multiplied by x multiplied by x multiplied by x that is we multiply x uh, n times so n minus 1 multiplication will be used for example if we have x square we need to multiply once if we have x cube we need to multiply twice so always n minus 1 multiplications are there in this case if you follow this approach so you run a loop from i equal to 0 to n minus 1 and you keep a result equal to 1 and in the result you keep multiplying x so you multiply x n minus 1 times or you can initialize with x and multiply n minus 1 times or you can initialize with 1 and multiply n times both are same thing so we will uh, write this code and we will see that this would not be optimal and our test cases would fail and th that is the intent of this question they don't just want you to multiply it n times this n can be very large and uh, the value of n is from minus 2 raised to the power 31 it's an int so it's int max this is int min and it can go up to 2 raised to the power 31 minus 1 so it can be a very large number and if you do this many multiplication definitely your test cases will miss so first we will write this and we will see that our test cases fail then we will optimize it to reduce the number of multiplications so this is the problem there are some examples you can go through and you can see the range of n is from minus 2 raised to power 31 up to 2 raised to the power 31 minus 1 and x is some double value so first we will write that method so what we will do uh, if n is 0 so anything raised to the power 0 is 1 so return 1.0 if n is equal to 1 so x raised to the power n means simply x so return x else what we do and if n is negative recursively call this function itself passing x and minus n and it should be uh, 1 by x minus n so we saw y uh, this so here it's 1 by x 1 by 2 and square of everything so we make it positive and take the reciprocal of this otherwise we keep a result and its return type is double and then return result so this works for this case let's also add some negative test case like 2.0 and minus 2 still it works but when we submit 
I'm sure there would be some very large test cases where this would fail. And you see time limit exceeded and this is the input. So let's copy it. We can put it here for our own uh, test case, our own check. So you see clearly it fails and the reason is that here how many multiplications are involved? This many multiplications are involved, minus one, but that does not make a difference. And that is a huge overhead. So how can we reduce the number of multiplications? So let's see. Uh, we know that x, if we have x raised to the power n, this means multiplying this x n times. So we multiply it n by 2 times. So we have this n times. x is written n times. Take the first half, take the second half. So if we take, if we break it into x square raised to the power n by 2 multiplied by x square raised to the power n by 2, it's still the same thing provided n was even. For example, if we have x raised to the power 10, then it can be written as x square to the 5 power 5 multiplied by x square to the power of 5. Because 10 can be broken into two pieces, 5 and 5. If it's 11, that is it's odd, then again we can do the same thing. Multiplied by x, in the end multiply by x. So if it's even, we can uh, we can be done with it in less number of multiplication and we will uh, see explanation of this how we are reducing the number of multiplication if it's uh, odd we will need to multiply one more so let's see a bigger example let's say we have not so big it's still n we, we would take a small n so that we are able to draw it here so let's say n is 32 mind you this n can be very large it can be in this range int min to int max but we are taking a smaller example and that should clarify the clarify the things and we are calculating x raised to the power 32. So in first case, what we just saw in the code, we will be multiplying x 32 times. So there will be 31 multiplication. Or to make it generic, let, let's keep it n, whatever is the n. In the second case, we will do, uh, we will find x square and so that will take one multiplication so we did x multiplied by x that is one multiplication and we found x square and original problem was x n this is the power function and after doing this one multiplication we call p of x square n by 2 obviously if it's odd we will need plus one multiplication but let's ignore it for now now what this function will do it will again take the square of this so it will be x square multiplied by x square so x square is already there we calculated it here so it will take another multiplication that is x square multiplied by x square and it will call power of x4 and now it becomes n by 4 so let's go with this example we have 32 32 here it becomes 16 here it becomes 8 here so one multiplication here one multiplication is here and we are reduced to this problem then we will do one more multiplication and we will call x raised to the power of 8 and here it will become uh, 4 so again one multiplication then we will call p x 16 and we n will become 2 another multiplication now we will call x 32 and we will pass 1 and this is our base case when n is 1 return this value itself so how many multiplications are there 1 2 3 4 so it will be log n minus 1 and if let's say we were unlucky and all of them were odd it can be possible then here we will need to multiply the result with x in the end so we will need one more multiplication one more here one more here so it can vary from log n to 2 log n or in general of the order of log n so we are doing log n multiplication as compared to n multiplication so if the number is very large which is 2 raised to the power 31 or minus 1 this is the int max 
so this is a huge number this number of multiplication and in second case log of this will be just 31 so just 31 multiplication compared to this int max number of multiplication so you can see the difference but you may be arguing that multiplying a small digit number like x x may have k digits if we multiply x with itself it will become it can become 2k digit or it can become 2k minus 1 digit either of these why because of this simple school uh, multiplication you did let's say we have 1 2 3 any 3 digit number you multiply that with that so you will write 1 2 3 then left shift 1 2 3 again left shift 1 2 3 now how many digits we can have at max uh, 1 2 3 4 5 and if this is a large number let's say 9 then we can have a carry and it can go up to this so in this case it's uh, for this case it will be double minus 1 so 2k minus 1 it can be 2k also in some case if there is a carry forward in the last digit so multiplying two numbers doubles the digit or one less than double but uh, and and there are different multiplication algorithms if you explore this will take n square time if you do it like this because this first digit you, you are multiplying with all the other digits second digit with all the other digit third digit with all the other digits so if we have k digits then k square but uh, there are many efficient algorithms like like Karatsuva multiplication and which takes O of n raised to the power 1.585 or something like this then we have some other algorithms uh, which are n log n but these are not realistic numbers uh, in uh, all the modern uh, instruction set architectures uh, multiplication is a constant time operation and it's mostly independent of the number of digits it's implemented in such a way that it may take uh, like one CPU cycle or two CPU cycle or maybe three CPU cycle not more than that so you can think of it as a small constant so all uh, multiplications irrespective of number of digits will take something in the range of one to three CPU cycles so it's a constant time operation so clearly you can see the winner here this method is the winner we are doing 31 multiplication compared to this huge number of multiplication so let's implement that and uh, there is one more subtlety here which you need to keep in mind so if you look at uh, the range of numbers it's it's uh, this range so on the positive side if you take the absolute value it's one less than this so let's say you are given n is this much so if you simply take the negative of this that is 2 raised to the power 31 then it cannot be represented in int so you have to convert it to long if you are using C++ and Java it's not a problem in Python now we will change our approach and we will write the corrected method so due to this limitation that it can be more than int max if we take the negative we will define our own function let's call it uh, power util and we will pass the same argument and we will pass long and we will use all this logic in our own function the same thing will remain here and this should not be a problem since now we are using long and not int and this we need to change and uh, this is no longer my power but this function and we will recursively call on x square and this n by 2 and now if n was even then we don't need to do anything but if n was odd that is if n mod 2 then we just need to multiply the result by x and then return result and in in this function we simply will return our function which is power util and let's run it and uh, we have already kept this huge number so that if this passes then we are sure that it should pass and you see this time it's able to calculate we did not get time limit exceeded so we will go ahead and submit 
and the solution is accepted. And let's see the time complexity here. It's 4 millisecond. Let's try it again. This time it's 0 millisecond, so we are better than 100% of the solutions. So you see how dramatically the time has reduced. We are now able to calculate in 0 millisecond. And we will write the same logic in Java. You can keep it public also, but uh, since we are only exposing this function, it's better to keep it private. and the Java solution is accepted. Now we will write it in Python and in Python we will not need to convert it to long. It will already be within the range so we will not use any extra function. So here we need integer multiplication. Okay, here we have not defined power util, so this will be the same function. And it's working, so let's submit. We can, uh, some of you can also do it in this way. Uh, so in result, pass this one, and then result. So this is calculating x raised to the power n by 2, then multiply result by itself. But it may take more time. So we have taken the square of result now after calculating this, and then this should remain same. And this works, so let's submit. And the Python solution is accepted. So there are multiple ways of doing it. And here it's slightly inefficient. You can try event tweaking this, whether this one is giving better result or if you pass x square, it's giving better result. So you can try out a few things, but it's definitely much, it will be of the logarithmic number of multiplication compared to our earlier which was of the order of n which can be very large.